this video, I'm going to show you how to make white on black text image. It's a meme style that we're making for this week in Paul's Freedom Challenge. So this is Dave's example that he put. You can see it's just a nice square image with our big white text of the quote that we made here. Then his name, attribution, and a lighter gray uh, color, darker gray, I guess. Um, so to do that, I recommend using the free Canva online image editor. It's a, got a decent amount of features and it's pretty easy to use and it's free um, if you don't want to use any of their premium content, which you don't really need to do. So it's a great way to get started doing stuff like this. You can really get a lot done on Canva without having to install anything. So to get started with that, you would just go to your web browser and type in canva.com, which I've already done and it brings you to this page. So you've never been here before, you would need to sign up. You can sign in with your Google account, your Facebook account if you already have one, or you can make an email based sign. This will only need to be done the first time you come here. If you get this again the second time or after that, you would click log in. Yet again, click those, type in your email. So I'll try signing up with Facebook, but because I've already done it before, I don't think it will show you anything. So normally what there would be here is a pop-up from Facebook that says, are you sure you want to allow Canva to sign in uh, using your account? They even ask you which account to use. So you click yes a few times. Page. So profile picture up there. So this is my account. We're good to go to start making. So to get started making a new design, up here and click, click create design. Enough. There's a bunch of options for pre-designed graphics, different sized media. So everything from invoices, posters, business cards. They do a lot of great stuff. And one of the big benefits of the service is that they actually have a lot of nice pre-designed uh, templates that you to build your stuff around. But for what we're gonna do, just simple uh, white on black text, we just wanna start with a custom domain. So Dave's example was square. For a square one, I'd recommend something around 1000 by 1000. Of course, you can make it rectangular if you want it, but this start. Now it's loading a new with our Fine. So it's probably a little hard to see on the video, but you can see there's a, hopefully there's a wider area in the center. That's where we're going to do our design. The rest of this is where we control of what, what we're adding. On the left has all the options put in, and by default it shows you templates for, you know, their pre-designed uh, graphics that fit into the shape. But we don't want to use that. We just want black background and white text. So to make the background black, we go here, third from the bottom, background, which is Nice option, but we're gonna go with our black up here. That makes the background black. Then add text, we'll go two or three up, three up from that and click text. Gives us, once again, a bunch of options, um, but we're gonna go with something fairly simple. We'll just click add heading, because it's fairly big text. And then type in your quote. So I'll, this is one that I made up. There it is. No, re no need to add type N or anything like that. It'll, of course, wrap it around when it gets to the end. And uh, we'll need to correct its position. But first, it looks like we are going to have a little extra room. And I don't really like this font. So to change the font, you can go up here to the top left of this wider area. Click on the name here. It gives you a bunch of options on the left side here. So you can look around, choose anything you like. Now, these ones with the little yellow crowns, those are ones you would actually have to pay for to you. So I would just stick with the ones that are darker colored and don't have the crown. I like intro, it's one I uh, fairly regularly, so I'll click on that. And we may not have extra room, but I'm just gonna click up the size a little bit. That 70 right now, I'm gonna go up to 70. Get that look. Now to move the text up to the center, all you do is hover over any of those uh, blue or cyan color uh, rectangular box around it. That's the bounding box, so the words won't ever get outside of that range. See if we scroll down, Words are way down here. So to, if we hover over it, you can see that there is four arrow pointer, or the pointer changes in the four arrow when it's in the right spot. And you can click and drag it up. When you get near the center, there it is. So if we get near the center, it actually shows those reddish, or I believe they're technically magenta colored lines. You have both the middle, one in the middle that's horizontal and vertical, means you are perfectly centered. So there we are perfectly centered. 
I think maybe this might be a little, little big. I want a little, okay, so maybe we could go down to 64, but I kind of want it a bit bigger than that. So you can actually, instead of clicking this drop down, you can type in any number you want. So let's just try 68. That looks pretty good. So now we're going to have to re drag it down so that it's centered. Bam. So those are our words. Now we need to uh, add our little attribution on the bottom. To do that, we'll click text again. Uh, I'll just add the one that says a little bit of body text because that's one of the smallest options. Name. Okay, and for the name, we actually don't want it to be as white. We want it to be grayish so that it blends in a little. So to do that, I would just select all the text by just dragging over it. Or if you want, you can use Control A or Command Back. That'll get all the text in there as well without having to click and drag, which uh, mess up if, a little bit if you're not careful. And then once you have it all selected, go up to here where it's got the A and then like the rainbow below it. Click that and it gives you a bunch of options. So I'm just going to choose the darkest gray that isn't perfect. So there's our name on the bottom. And if you wanted, you could yet again click and drag this down so it's kind of bottom right a little bit more instead of centered. Click out of that and that looks pretty good. So now in order to post this online, you would just click up here on the top right to download. It gives you a drop down with a bunch of options. It should choose PNG by default. Um, if it's not PNG, you want to set it to that's the best format for something like this where it's just text, line art. If you had something with, with images on it, like pictures um, or really complex drawings, you might want to go uh, with JPEG, but PNG is where I would start unless you know. So now you just click download, this thing. It says it wants to refer friends, which I'm doing right now. <laughs> uh, and then, so it actually already opened it up on my computer here. So this is the file on the computer. It put it in my download. So now you have the image in your downloads file ready to upload to Facebook and onto your blog, where you will write a post about it. And then uh, hopefully people like the, the quote, they see it on Facebook, then they end up finding you on the blog and traffic that way. So this was how to basic image editing on Canva. If this is interesting to you and you want to learn how to do more complex things like posters or you know promotional graphics, website and Facebook, that let me know and I can go through that stuff as well.